Hi everyone, my name is George and welcome to the Anime Grove. Today it's time for Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Episode 7 Reaction. During last episode, we didn't get to see too much action, but we got to see how Rudy's relationship with uh, his cousin and Ghislaine is getting much better and he's teaching them both. I thought Ghislaine would only be the bodyguard, but she's actually learning as well and she's learning magic i thought she'd also tag along she'd only tag along when i saw her for the arithmetic and reading classes and stuff but she's also learning magic which is really cool i never thought she would since she's sh she's such a high level swordsman that she actually wouldn't need magic i believe i, I believed by the way, guys, uh, I kind of need, he need help here. Is it swordsman even if it's a woman? I have no idea how to properly say that. So is he slaying a swordsman? Uh, let me know in the comments, please. Um, so we also got to see how uh, Rudy's cousin, whose name, I I'm sorry, I just forgot it, but I'm, will I, maybe it was Aris. I don't think it was Aris, but we'll see it as we get into the episode. It's been a couple weeks since I last recorded this show, so because I recorded a few of them in advance, so I didn't need to watch it for a couple weeks. So I've forgotten what her name was, or was it... There's something in me that's telling me either Aris or Mavis, but I can't remember. Although I remember that she got an allowance it was Rudy's idea and she loved it and she wanted to help uh, Rudy get what he wanted to gift him uh, and to give him a present paid by 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 her allowance because she wanted to gift something to Rudy but he didn't want her to do so with her father's money so in order to teach her the importance of money he convinced her that she what she actually wanted was an allowance to be able to buy that for Rudy with her own money. So that's nice because he's actually trying to get her to be more responsible. And I don't think he actually did it in order to get what he wanted. So I think it was selfless. I think it was nice from Rimuru. Not Rimuru, see? I told you in the that time I got reincarnated as a slime finale video that I continue mixing them up. <laughs> I always call Rimuru Rudy and Rudy Rimuru. Still, I wonder where we'll head into now. I think there was a time skip during last episode, and I believe I saw Roxy in today's thumbnail, but it might be that he's thinking of her or something. I hope not. I, don't ho I hope that we get to see her. But <laughs> I don't know, guys. I have no idea. By the way, are there only 11 episodes? I thought there'd be 12, but I think the season's already over and I haven't seen episode 12 around, so I believe it might only be episode 11 episodes long this first season. I have no idea, but I just want to get jump to get right into it, so let's just do so. This isn't the market substitute, so grab your legal copy and watch it along with me. Don't use my footage as a substitute for the original show, just use it as a support for my commentary on these episodes and sync it with your very own copy in order to watch it at the same time and support the original show. And if you enjoy my content, remember to like, comment and subscribe to join the Keepers of the Grove. And if you would like to help me continue growing this channel, hit that notification bell in order to be the first one to be notified when I upload a new video. Now, without any further ado, let's just ramp, jump right into it. Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Episode 7 Reaction. Go! Yo! <laughs> Look at this animation! Oh my fucking Ghislaine, she was a sword king, I believe was the title, which is again awkward because it's calling her queen, calling her king, but she's so good. I mean, I know Ghislaine is really good, but 
She, uh, Rudy's Cousin is incredibly good too. She'll reach advance in no time. No, I'm honestly surprised. I know she's better than him. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so I know he's not that of a good fighter. Uh, so he's not that good of a swordsman, but maybe he can get to the second or third level at least to boost his confidence. And besides, don't complain when you are that high of a caster level. <laughs> God damn. Oh, she didn't hit him. Let's go. Oh, sorry. She's growing up. That's awesome. <laughs> It's cute because her mother seems really rough to everyone, but she's like really close to her daughter and really nice to her. <laughs> but he's right, she didn't look like she was just your average Sundere mother, but like she actually had something against him. Oh shit, maybe. No. Did she have anything with Paul back in the day? Maybe she's resent she resents uh Rudy for being Paul's son. Did Paul also get in her bed? <laughs> yeah, it's really detailed. Come on, man. Eris. Eris was the name, sorry. Is it like um, some ceremony where she's, she gets to be known by all the noblemen and then they look for a groom for her? I'm guessing it is going to be the plan. So he's to teach her to dance. And they'll get even closer then. Oh, I see. So she needs time to get better at dancing and that's why... They're taking time from Rimuru, not Rimuru, oh my fucking god, sorry, from Rudy to give it to her to teach her to dance? <laughs> he's nice. I'm glad to see that he's left behind the beat down that he got on the first day. <laughs> I feel so related. That's in Beast God. Is that a language? That would be awesome. But I'm still wondering about last episode's writing issues when he was writing in Japanese. <laughs> Are they both furries? This too. <laughs> awesome. So he's actually becoming a scholar in this world. Going from need to a scholar. Not bad of a change. So come again. Are these the the languages? And what is Battle God? Wait, what was... What language is he typing, by the way? Uh, is he writing in, by the way? I think this is the local language? Not Japanese, like last episode? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. So he actually isn't good at at learning languages. That sucks. He's so good at uh, learning magic that I thought he'd be like a genius in this world. But God is like human. Okay. Demon God is too much. Why are they like God in the end? <laughs> Are you I was joking I I was joking no not I was joking I haven't even told the joke yet but I was about to say like are they gonna dance in the moonlight in the barn or something like that? And they uh, panned out to the barn. That's hilarious. <laughs> I was thinking like, why did I choose the barn so suddenly? But I think it's because the moonlight makes me think of the barn and that romantic scenery. <laughs> Doesn't even need to move. Maybe they can start a party and go adventuring. <laughs> I was about to say that it's nice that she has someone to trust, kind of her age, but... <laughs> well, I was kind of right. <laughs> It's awesome that their close that their eyes are close because then they can actually like be body bodies. And that's really important when a child is developing. And that's a different kind of a scripture. So which one could this one's gotta be one of those? Either demon god, beast god, or Battle God. <laughs> I just pictured him becoming the new factory producer of small figurines, small anime figurines in that world. Made of Earth Magic, I believe. What does Earth Magic use? Earth? I, not Earth, sorry. Soil? Clay? What does it use? A package for you. Sylph. <laughs> I wish it were Sylph. Oh, it's from Roxy? So that's why we got to see her in the thumbnail. <laughs> Will Eris get jealous? Oh, wait, it must. This might be Demon God? So, and this doesn't look like the book before, maybe this is Demon God and the other one in the book was Battle God or Beast God. I'm sorry, I really enjoy learning languages, so I'm really interested into learning the differences between them. Oh, yes, I figured out that this must be Demon Language because, Demon God Language, because she's a demon. But I didn't realize that she might be able to learn, to teach Rudy the language. Still, how did she find out? Because she found out that he's, he's tutoring Eris. That probably is uh, something that people talk about in the streets. You know, a, a street word. But how did she find out that he wanted to learn languages? Is that also something that people in the streets know? That the tutor of Eris is trying to learn those three languages? Or did he text her? Not text her, you know, send her a letter. Let's fucking go. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> the row is removable. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> she leaking what? <laughs> Come again? <laughs> This fucking fella. <laughs> I'm an easy, yeah. <laughs> I would too. No, so it was a uh, demon god writings. What the hell, dog? Why would you do that? I really don't get that. He looks so different when. She looks really cute. Yeah, I guess it was about that. Not that hard to figure out. This mug prick. Okay, let's go, Eris. She's doing great. That's what they were working on. Wait, her footwork is kind of sloppy. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want her to be embarrassed, but I really don't want her to be embarrassed by her own family. Did you just read that? That motherfucking asshole in the crowd that said that? That really pissed me off right now. I see the girls as stupid as ever. <laughs> I don't think you know how much she's improved, so we don't really have the right to talk, especially when you just think she can't dance. I mean, I'm not going to talk about the importance of dancing in society, but right there, in that society, in that context, that ability that you think that she's no, that she's dog shit because she doesn't have court dancing, really? Can you use the sword or magic like she can? Jumping, Rudy, you can save her. Yeah, let's go. I've gotta say, Rudy's hair may looks much better like this. Obviously, she is. She says it's nothing, but it obviously is so much for her. It's her tenth birthday, and the most pressing and probably important social event she's ever been to. I forgot, it's not that I forgot, but I never connected it. She's not a good dancer, but she's a really good fighter. Oh! She let loose so fast. Let's go! There you go, Eris. Don't tell her, now she's going to screw up. This is so wholesome. Something I really didn't expect from this show. If anyone, if nobody claps, I will. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. That was at least clap worthy. <laughs> Two gray rats.
Yep, her footwork was sloppy. I'm so proud of her. She went from really hating him and not even being reasonable to openly admitting that he's great or at least that she thinks so. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at her, how proud she is. <laughs> he's popular now. <laughs> All right, it's her birthday. Bro, <laughs> he's eight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he's fucking eight. <laughs> In front of Alice. I don't think still that uh, Eddie's father was talking about Eddie's herself. Oh, this is so nice. Because they're both their students. His students. Oh, she really likes it. Did you see her? Faintly blush? There it is. And her eye is like moving really fast. She really is excited to get that. Which one did she pick up? Did she pick up Sylphs? The statue, I mean. <laughs> yeah, and it's got emotional value too. Did a wolf attack her? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind that. I don't want to know about you and Paul. Every story with Paul, involving Paul, ends up the same way. Are you again going into that? She slept with the ring and the wand. <laughs> it kept the wolves away. Who is it going to be <laughs> this time? Is it her grandpa? Who is it? Who is with him? Oh shit, he got caught. Oh, it's a uh, maid. I thought it might be like um, Eddie's mother or something, and it'd be really disturbing, but it, but it isn't, at least. <laughs> so he actually has no idea if it might be the end of all of them, for example. Let's hope that's not too literal. But really, really fun episode. This show is incredibly fun sometimes, although it gets really, really inappropriate from time to time. But I don't really care about that. Uh, I mean, Rudy's and Eddie's relationship is really cute. And I love how she went from a spoiled brat who doesn't really even let anyone near her because I remember her being straight up violent to Rudy just when she when she met him because he didn't just bow or be extreme or he wasn't extremely polite I can't remember but she was obnoxious <laughs> and she's grown so much she now is I don't know how to put it, but her relationship with Rudy helped her adjust better to social situations and her own life. I don't think she would have been able to even make it five minutes in the party if she hadn't met Rudy, because I'm sure she would have ended up beating the shit out of someone there, maybe getting nervous when she fell the first time and then kicking that boy or who knows you know it's not not something that she would have 
liked doing before meeting Rudy. And now she's becoming a proficient uh, mage, but she's becoming an even better swordsman. Again, I don't know if swordsman applies here. Please let me know. And Ghislin is learning magic too, which uh, I was really surprised to see. Mm. Rudy is now learning new languages and we're learning about Beast God language which is uh, being taught us by, well, he's studying by, by himself but asks his doubts to Ghislaine about Beast God language when talking about Demon God language. Now we get Roxy's book which is awesome. Now we've got a language manual that's written by best girl in the show and uh, we have a bit of we don't have problems right with uh, battle god because it's really similar to human but what is battle god what is what kind of race speaks battle god is it not like humans or is it maybe like humans or other race that we've already seen but that speaks in a different language because they live in a different region. Some shit like that. Don't know. But I guess that's enough for today. So thank you so much for visiting my channel. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Peace out.